All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video, fellas. Today, what we got going on, we got a Jacob's, uh, a pretty fun Jacob's flag build. However, uh, it's you red style, right? Now, me personally, uh, I look, I like the concept of running, of running like a you red, right? on flag don't the only like thing about it is that obviously you lose your health gate and with you know flag being as squishy as he is losing his health gate can hurt however luckily for us flag can also output just a shit ton amount of damage so uh, today's video we're going to be messing around with this setup a little bit and seeing just how good it can be now i will obviously be showing our skill trees and everything stuff like that um, if I can also show it right now before uh, we get any further on. So we're running uh, uh, Hellwalker, obviously. Then we are also going to be running a Maggie. Then we have the uh, Queen's Call, Cryo, you read, so obviously a very devastating setup. And then the uh, Clairvoyant Smasher, another Cryo, you read. Uh, very, very deadly, hits like a fucking freight train. Then we also have our front loader. Uh, this one has shock damage. Figured that could be useful because it will actually help all the weapons if I had the free a cryo one it wouldn't help out these two just be a waste so i figured you know the shot could at least help out all of the uh weapons uh that we have equipped so that's why we're rolling with this one uh and then here is our cosmic stalker very very strong very strong uh cosmic stalker very good very good we also could use things uh we have a lot of options you know we have all these stack bots we have these bounty hunters uh, you know what I'm saying, but I, I've been really, really, really loving uh, the Cosmic Stalker a lot recently. Uh, then here's our Pearl. Obviously, a Pearl is very, very, very solid. Then we have our Hunter Seeker that gives us corrosive uh, ASC, which is very, very nice uh, for armor and stuff like that. It just helps out all the weapons. And then here is our skill tree. Uh, standard Master Tree for these types of setup. You love to have Heat Bites and Frenzy. Uh, they combine really, really well together. Uh, then we have our hunter tree, uh, standard hunter tree, you know what I'm saying, you love it, you love it, you love to see it, you love to see it. And then here is our stalker tree, you know what I'm saying. Obviously we don't need anything to fast and the furious or power inside, uh, because, you know, we're not going to be ever at full health or above half HP. And then a little bit of, uh, reload speed, uh, for things like our Hellwalker, Maggie, and our Queen's Ball. But, uh, yeah, so, now we're here, dude. And, yeah, we're just going to be going through some of the takedowns. Um, and just seeing what it can do. First time though, I think we actually had a video where we started out um, over in the uh, crystal phase. Figured that we could at least kill Scourge first with the setup, and then we'll go uh, head over to our, uh, our good old pal Wotan and uh, pay him a visit. Obviously, uh, Wotan is uh, he's our boy. You know what I'm saying? We always got to pay him a visit. You know, sometimes it can get a little annoying, especially his top half. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go into his real quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look. Fun fact, obviously, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know this, but you actually, uh, if you don't kill uh, the enemies, you'll get more, uh, actually, you'll get less enemies to spawn, so it'll be a little bit easier uh, to actually complete this phase, so yeah, but with this setup, bro, sometimes you uh, kind of just gotta wreck, the, wreck their face, you know, but uh, yeah, dude, work. look at this, look at our Hellwalker, just devastating. Uh, now, we might go down a, a little bit throughout the video just because we are running, you know, uh, you read no health gate, uh, no problem though. We should be able to uh, just, we should be able to just kill much about anything uh, really fast uh, regardless, so, yeah. I know recently we've been on uh, the Jacob shotgun binge. We've done uh, Jacob stagecoach. Uh, we've done uh, the... Uh, we did a stagecoach only takedown. We did uh, uh, a hellwalker only takedown. We did a lot. We did a lot over the past uh, couple of days. And now we're doing a U Red Jacobs uh, setup for fun. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna be a uh, fucking shit up. Obviously, our hellwalker is going to be a main source of uh, high burst damage. It's a hellwalker, dude. What do you expect? It's built like that. It's built differently. Uh, whoa. You wanna be uh, you wanna knock these stone on? Uh, I guess we'll just kill a few of these enemies, and then we will, I'll just cut the scourge just because uh, this part after we open this door is just kind of boring. Uh, so let's go and fade away. Oh. And, oh, okay, I just died to dot damage twice. That's cool. Clairvoyance? Oh no, clairvoyance right here. 
See, the clairvoyance is good for ranged attacks, dude. It, it's so good. The fact that this thing even got a buff uh, so recently, well, not super recently now, but, you know, the fact that this thing even got a buff to begin with is insane. But uh, yeah, I want you to go ahead and cut over uh, to Scourge, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, peeps, we're out here. We're here. And, uh, yeah, we're in a thing now, dude. We're going to sh show them who's boss. This fight's always... This fight's kind of fun. I think this should be only, like, three mini phases, though. Versus, like, 12. You know? That way, because there's, there's just a lot, of, a lot of, like, hopping just back and forth uh, with this fight. Actually, actually, you know what? Maybe for the... No, no, fuck it, dude. There's still some that. We're fine, dude. I was going to say, ah, maybe we could put the bounty hunter on. I was like, actually, no, it's fine, dude. We're just chilling. We're, we're, we're fucking them up regardless anyways. Fuck it, dude. Let's actually... Let's use the clairvoyance a little bit. And then we'll, we'll cycle through all the weapons against this boss, dude. That way it's just not the, uh, the Hellwalker clairvoyance show. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. They're, they're uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> Let's see who's next on the list. We'll bring. We'll, we'll yeah. We'll, we'll do. We'll knock off uh, part of the hell part with our our, our Maggie. To screw it. Why not? Let's do it. Let's go back into fade away. Come on, Maggie. Maggie's such a classic gun, dude. Bang. And then now we'll use the uh, Queen's Call, which will be pretty fun. Um. What? What just. What? Okay, uh, that was. Okay. I don't know how that killed me, but whatever. I think maybe for this, uh, for, fuck, fuck for the Queen's Call, dude, uh, Grills in the Mist will be a little bit better. Let's do that instead. Actually, maybe if we had the cor Corrosive one instead, might be even better. Uh, let me actually go, you know what, dude, I'm just gonna cut to where we get to the, uh, the Blue Health Bar, so I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, so now, dude, what, why does that keep happening? I don't know why that keeps happening, where I land and I immediately die like I land on a landmine or some shit, bro. I know ain't no minesweepers, bro, I'm on flak, homie. <laughs> Let's go wreck this dude, bro. You're not built for it. Yeah, Hellwalker is, bro, this thing is fucking disgusting. See what I mean? But like this, the, uh, like this fight just feels like it drags on a little bit. Like, uh, wish they didn't do that. Scoot. And if I'm like trying to trying to catch this Hellwalker smoke, bro. Dunzo. Scoot. And then we'll go right back into fade away, and then we're going to perfectly come out, and then we're going to destroy this dude. And he's gonna be uh, chop liver fresh meat. Whatever. Okay. Uh. I, okay. Whatever, dude. I. Whatever. Get wrecked, right, dude. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to uh. Now I want take down. So uh, I'll see you guys over there. All right, cheeps. Cheeps. No champs. Ratty, bro. We're here. We're at the Malawan takedown, bro. And uh, we're gonna run the U Red setup and we're gonna fuck up everybody's existence. Sit down, get off my case, homie. I'm going to destroy these enemies, bro. Get, just get right. Just. Can't, uh, can't, can't handle it. Can't, can't quite handle it. Nope, sorry. Sorry, bro. Clairvoyance. It's too OP. It's too OP, bro. It's clairvoyance. It does things. Fucking love this gun. <laughs> I 
This gun is dis is disgusting, bro. It's it <laughs> running this with a whole oh, a whole you rad setup, bro. Just chilling. I mean, we're we're just destroying everything. It's great. You love to see it. Sit down. Now we got the Maggie on standby, bro. Now, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, sir, but uh, you got to uh, you got to go down. Uh, hello? Oh, uh, you're done. And uh, you're done as well. Go back and fade away. And uh, hello? Whoa, war dog, calm down, calm down. You're not. You, you don't actually stand a chance. <laughs> like, uh, relax. You, you, you don't actually stand a chance. Like, get out of here, homie. Get out of here, homie. You can't actually handle it, bro. Let's fuck it. Let's pull the clairvoyance. Let's pull the clairvoyance and uh, everything else will die. We'll be alright. Oh, we just meleeed the crap. Come on, dude. For real? For real? Enough with that. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we're at the bridge now. Um, I kind of want to use the Hellwalker for a good amount of this position. Uh, hell, uh, I could do. I mean, we really can use anything we want. Mm -hmm. Oh, Desphere's. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Desphere's. Thank you. Thank you, Desphere's, for reminding me how much no one likes you. Appreciate that. I guess at least use one on. It's gonna be our call weapon. That's fine. That's okay. No, no funny business. Okay. Congrats. You got, got some funny business. Got some funny business there, buddy. Don't you, pal? Let's go inside a fade away. And uh, yeah, just put in that work. Keep a little bit of a distance. Yeah, those spec ops commit uh, war dogs can be a little bit of annoying. Let's go back into fade away. Shoot them out. Uh, let's see. Battle wolf, you're done. Just chilling this little cubby, bro. They can't touch us. Oh, and uh, that was not cool, homie. That's okay. We can easily second wind. Corrosive cryo. They they do wonders together. Let me not miss both my shots like a pure scrub. Look at that destroyed. The war dog like was trying to think he had a chance and then he like died because he doesn't you know have a chance because he's you know not built for it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, Hellwalker coming out. Done. You get two shot at homie. How many, how, how many of like my fellow flag players out there play um like play a half life uh flag build consistently? I generally don't. Um, like sometimes I will for showcase purposes, but like generally, no, not really. Uh, I, I generally like to have my health gate, but sometimes it's fun just because you can get a lot of extra like serious damage, just like you know crazy, especially with things like you know the clairvoyance. Oh, come on, dickhead. <laughs> they got the things like the fucking Hellwalker and just fucking, you know, destroy. Must destroy. Then I get destroyed. Then I get second wind. Did he literally... Yeah, he, yeah, he did take off. I uh, just built my shots. What am I? Terrible. Alright, let's go, boys. Wotan, it's time for you to die. Now, for, I already know for the Wotan fight... Oh, yeah, bro. Give me that clairvoyance. I'm just gonna peck this dude's ass from a distance. He can't touch me, bro. I do... I would want to use the Hellwalker here, but getting kind of close to him can be a little bit tricky. Um, especially with this setup. Uh, so, yeah. Duh, definitely don't want to get caught getting a... Alright, well, it's on. Let's make this quick, bud. Let's make this quick. Nice and easy. Just need a hot walker. Right in the fucking back. What? Okay, huh? That's cool. So why we have Mr. Chu? It's like situations like that, that's why we have Mr. Chu. He's, he's Mr. Chu God. Sorry, Stingers, but y'all can be a little bit on the annoying side. And then we'll 
Jesus. I don't understand that. That shouldn't just insta kill me, bro. What? Um, I don't know how we killed our bottom half from that distance, but I'll take it. M Mr. Chu, what are you doing and not reviving me, Mr. Chu? Mr. Chu, just, 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 just do your job. You're dead. Never mind. You're dead. Maybe I should just look down on my screen next time. Anyways, I was very surprised how we, we killed the bottom half off of ricochets, bro. Or, <laughs> I don't know, dude, we destroyed his ass. Uh, overall, if the survivability wasn't, like, you know, terrible, terrible, I'd probably do this more often. I mean, the damage with this setup you can't go, un, uh, like, unnoticed. It's it's just insane, you know. I mean, Fly, in general, is insane with his damage. Uh, one second, I'll go over our setup one more time. Uh, here's all the re uh, weapons. Honestly, the Queen's Call I didn't use hardly at all. Uh, obviously, the Hellworker and Clairvoyance did most of the work. Maggie's just a well-rounded pistol. Uh, you know, here's our f uh, front loader, a loaf, a weak front loader, a level 57 one. Uh, Pony Hunter secret grenades, pearls, very, 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 very good. So is the Cosmic Stalker. Um, and then here is our Stalker tree. You know what I'm saying, my boy? Um, a little bit of agility training for our reloading. Uh, our Master Tree Frenzy, he bites, good synergy. And then we have our good old Hunter tree. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.